we are back. Thank you for the second half of the show. And the second topic is um, oh, cleaning out your wallet. And so that's one of our savvy habits is to, uh, and one of our challenges is to clean out your wallet and take good care of your finances, your money, treat it with respect. Mm -hmm. And at the beginning of the year, this is a really good time to do that. So there's a couple of aspects about that. One is literally clean out your wallet, get rid of the business cards, file them if you need to keep them, throw them away if you don't, get rid of all the bank receipts that you don't need anymore, and whatever detritus and little bits of pieces of paper and things that you find in there, uh, now is the time. Clean out your wallet. All yep, right. That Organize card your money. From your last visit to Vegas. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yeah. You know, go through and check and make sure that the you know it's a nice thing, nice time to go through and check and make sure that the your insurance cards are up to date and all that stuff mm -hmm. and get all that kind of things squared away so that you're in a good position. And now you can treat your money and your financial engines with the proper amount of respect. But in addition to that, there are other aspects of your financial daily portfolio that we need to take care of. I'm going to interject here real quick. So one of the people that I'm a big fan of, continue to be a big fan of, is a woman called, who started this website called flylady.net. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a, if, if getting rid of clutter is on your to-do list for the new year, go check yeah. her out, flylady.net. Yeah. Um, it's a step-by-step guide for how to get rid of the clutter, how to create homekeeping routines. And one of her homekeeping routines is to always go to bed with your sink clean. Mm -hmm. Uh, clean and shiny. <laughs> yeah. In fact, in fact, the name of her website is uh, flylady.net. Uh, well, the, the, the uh, sink reflections. That, that was the name That's of her book. book. That's yeah. the name of her book. Yeah. Hi, Skittles. <laughs> so, uh, so, so it's that idea that when you wake up in the morning and you go into the kitchen, you don't have to. You're not looking at a bunch of dirty dishes, which throws you into this kind of funky cycle of, okay, I got to do the dishes and then grab, you know, yeah. I'm going to make breakfast and then, you know, screw it, I'm just going to go grab Starbucks on my way to to work or, or Dunkin' Donuts. So it ends up kind of costing you time and money mm. in the long run. Yeah. The idea of a clean wallet, it's the same thing. It's just like you said, it shows respect for your money, but it's that your foundation, your your literal financial foundation is clean and ready to go, to be used properly. You know where yeah. your cards are, you know where your cash is. I'm also a big fan of straightening. <laughs> I, I, I actually really enjoy cash. Yeah. Uh, I don't, I mean, it's, it's money. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, you know, straightening your dollar bills. Um, I'm laughing because I have a very good friend that, like, pulled out a wad of cash one day when we were at a, at a store buying something, and I almost had a heart attack. And <laughs> <laughs> sat there, Not, and I straightened yes. all his money. Got you know all, who you are, RJ. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Kiddo, you made a, a, a suggestion about putting the YouTube in our caffeine description. Thank you very much. We'll oh, that's a great idea. Great idea. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Appreciate that. that. Appreciate that. Yeah, so the, the, you, there is your physical wallet of taking care of that and treating it with respects. Also, so you know what's in there and it's easy for you to find things. Uh, you can expand that if you're a lady that carries a purse. Extend that out to, oh, yeah. again, go to the purse to clean things out in that regard. Then taking that one step further... Figure out how you are going to manage your expenses for the year and track your bills and things like that. I'm old school. I still insist that all my uh, services send me paper me bills. Me too. <laughs> okay. So I, I, and I'm an environmentalist, yeah, but I want yeah. the paper bills. So I get the paper bills every month. I pay them. Granted, I pay almost everything electronically now. There's very few bills I actually send checks in, but I still do a couple of those. And then I take those bills and I have an accordion folder separated by month, and all the bills go in there for a given month, all right? Uh, I know people who separate the bills and the paper by category, so here's all the power bills, here's, here's all the yeah. cable bills, fine, whatever works yeah. for you, it doesn't matter. I just like knowing that this month I've taken care of everything. I have one pile, one, one area set up, these are the bills that I need to pay when they come in, I put them here, they're organized by date, so I know when I have to pay them. When they're paid, they go into the accordion folder, and so I can look very quickly and say, there are no papers in this folder over here. That means I paid all my bills for the month yep. that, have, that have come in. All right? yeah. And then I just keep track of that, and I have the records of it. And if somebody comes back to me in six months and said, you didn't pay your power bill in June you know, 2016, I can go to the accordion folder and say, sure enough, here it is. Here's the you know, transaction number, and we can go ahead and mm -hmm. sort it out. So whatever system works for you, now's the time to get it set up. January is, is very convenient for doing that. Figure out what you want to do. And then just start keeping things in order so you know where you stand. So I have my family's <clears throat> finances that I manage. I have the Savvy Life's mm -hmm. finances. And then I have the school's finances. Yeah. And so without a system, 
It's chaos. Oh, yeah. It's absolute chaos. And I do something similar where each company has a it invoices yeah. folder. And then once it gets paid, it goes into another, you know, each, each company's folder. And I actually, I have, because it starts to get messy and, and bulky. Mm -hmm. um, so I'll do one folder for January through June okay. and then an, yeah. you know, another one just so yeah. I don't feel <laughs> yeah quite so overwhelmed. But I, I somehow had an epiphany, um, I think it was about a year or two ago. And one of the things I do is anything that is related to taxes, mm -hmm. I'll put at the very yeah. back. Yeah. And that way I just know when I go to file my taxes, yeah. All my DMV uh, Department of Motor Vehicles uh, documents are, are at the back, and I'm not having to go. I still end up spelunking through things, yeah, but, but it, yeah. it's easier. <laughs> and I, I, I didn't say that. I do the exact same thing. Yeah. All, 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 all the tax, all the tax items. Go through there. Yeah, yeah. So, and, and again, it just it just keeps things organized. So we're old school. We do things with paper. If you don't do it with paper, set up a spreadsheet yeah. or some type of record. However, you want to keep track of it, so you can see where you are. All right. Yeah, uh, you know, it's it's just it's just a nice way to have that stuff organized. And so, one question that we get a lot is: Should I set up an Excel spreadsheet or something, or should I use one of the packaged services out there, like you need a budget for, for or tracking mint, spending. for tracking spending? Take a look at them. I'll come back to something that I've said before, and I say a lot to all of our clients: the pre-packaged programs, like you need a budget, mint, and those things. The way they make money is they make a tool that is usable by the most amount of people. And so if it is 80% usable to a large number of people, they're happy. They stop. They, don't, they may make some small improvements, but not very much. Or if they do, they'll do it when it affects a lot of people. I guess what I'm saying is all of these programs, they're pretty good. They all have shortcomings. None of them do exactly what you want them to do because they're geared towards the largest common denominator. Yeah. So they're, they're kind of, I found that they kind of do what I want to do, but they're not quite exactly what I want to do. And if I call them up and say, hey, can you do this for me? They'll say, sure, find me 100,000 other people who have the exact same need you want and we'll consider it. Yeah. All right. They, you know, so they're, you know, they, they're, they're good, but they, they all have shortcomings. Yeah, you know, it, it really boils <clears throat> down to trying a couple of different things and see, see what's going to work for you. Mm -hmm. One of the things that we do when we work with clients and we help them create spending plans is in talking with them, we can pretty quickly identify what a couple of suggestions just based on are they a tech person or are they not a tech person? Yeah. How many, what's the volume of yeah. their expenses? Yeah. If their Our volume is high yeah. and they have a really high income, we'll send them to a bookkeeper. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because they're... It, Professionals do that. It's not going to pay <clears throat> off for the... They, yeah. they do not have the time to manage all those those expenses. Yeah. 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 Uh, but they can get... But they need that information yeah. so they get that report from their bookkeeper yeah. on a weekly basis so yeah. it ends up working. So the crux of it, beginning of the year is a really nice time to clean house on your finances just in terms of how you actually track and and uh, control inflow and outflow. So so there's that and then we can go mm. in, a, in another area around this too is you know take a couple steps back and think about is your banking system working <coughs> for you mm. and what I mean by that is uh, mm. about a decade ago Dante was three he's mm. 13 Virginia, as of yeah. today. <laughs> um, I found myself, I, we had, uh, we were in a partnership with somebody in, a, in, a, in another martial arts school. Um, I had the Savvy Life. I, I had my personal finances. The Savvy Life was at one bank. The school was at another bank and our personal finances were at another bank. And I did not m know my name. I, I felt yeah. like I was going at a bank all the time. <clears throat> this was, again, it was a decade ago. It was before you could take a picture of your deposit, you know, for your deposits and all of that. And um, I finally just, broke mm -hmm. down and realized I needed to spend some time fixing that problem. Now, everything is at one bank. And um, and again, I don't think that there's a perfect bank out there yeah. either. But everything's at one bank. I've got a system for you know just about everything. And um, and life is just easier because as much as I love talking about money, I don't want managing yeah. it all the time. I want to go have fun. Yeah. I want to go spend it smartly. Yeah. <laughs> I, I came into the same situation where I had bank accounts in a couple of different banks just from just from legacy, you know, banks right, merge exactly, and break up and yeah. do all kinds of weird things. And um, there are not really good reasons. Oh, again, I, I, uh, kiddos asking, it's like, are you pre to, to prevent transaction fees between banks or something? Um, I just had them, I had them in different banks, like I said, primarily from legacies where I had some banks, I had some bank accounts in one place, 
my stepmother worked at a different bank and when I went to college they went my dad and my stepmom wanted to set up an easy way to send me money when I was in college oh, and this wow, was a long yeah. time ago so I set up an account with that bank and so it, you know it just it just builds over time again it, it's stuff that collects like in your wallet it's basically the same the same thing and you do have a lot of transaction fees when you're going between between different banks or you used to just cleaning that stuff up so that you get um, you get like one statement and things just work really smoothly and concisely is just the way to yeah. go. Yeah. I realize I just lied live live on camera. Oh dear. Um, I have two banks because I have yeah. um, I'm with I'll tell you I'm with Wells Fargo. They're okay. They're convenient, which is <clears> one of the most important things. Um, but also um, uh, Capital One three sixty. Oh forgot. Yeah. yeah. I use them as a savings vehicle. So I just because I talk about that, I didn't want somebody you, to go liar. <laughs> Well, yeah. And, and, so, it, yeah, so th there are reasons for doing that. But again, if you take a look at what you're doing and make sure that it makes sense, make sure that it just doesn't you know, get over crazy. You know, one, one thing that, that my wife and I are looking at is we changed insurance companies a little while ago just because, we, you know, one of the things that we advise with the Savvy Life is go check your rates. We did that. We changed our auto insurance to a different company, but our homeowner's insurance is still with somebody else. Yeah. And... We didn't do it at the time just because it was easy to do the auto insurance, get the quotes, and get all that stuff up. Yeah. But, you know, what we really need to do is look, does that still make sense or should we move, you know, do we get more benefit by moving the homeowner's insurance? Yeah. Usually you get uh, breaks because of when you bundle policies together. So now is the time to take a look at those things. Take a look at your financial situation, clean house. It's funny that you say that. I'm so glad you remembered. It, it, you know, the holidays and it's been such a muddle. Um, we do, we talk to people about reviewing their insurance all the time. And it's something that, you know, I've always looked at, but I know I've, we've got an outstanding rate. We've been with the same company for 20 years. And it's all, I've always been kind of bummed though, because one of my favorite insurance companies, and I'll shout out to them, is USAA. Mm -hmm. That's who we switch our own. Yeah, to. your wife's in the yeah. military. Yeah. It was in, is, is retired military. So USA, that's exactly what it is. It's for military families and the children and potential grandchildren of military families. And it's always bummed me out because my grandfather served in the army, mm -hmm. but the, we have no proof of it because the um, office that kept all his records burned down. Oh. <laughs> so it's always kind of bummed me out. I've always been on the outs, outskirts of that. Well, Christmas Eve, we're celebrating with my husband's family and my, um, uh, they, my husband's dad and his stepmom live in Hillsburg and they've been having bad issues getting fire insurance. In fact, mm -hmm. they got... Like every all their neighbors got dropped yeah. by their fire insurance company, and they're yeah, Northern paying. California. This is where a lot of the wildfires and, and, and <clears throat> yeah, urban, urban fires have, have been occurring. That's yeah. true. I forgot this is a global. <laughs> <laughs> Hillsburg, California is a wine country. Yeah. Uh, so they were, you know, that was the topic of is mm -hmm. how expensive their their homeowners insurance is now. And I asked his dad, who served in the Coast Guard, have you ever thought about? I'm mm. surprised you're not on in USAA. And then all of a sudden I realized, I could have. Qualified for USA for, this whole time, my husband's him. dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, so the entire Tosetti family is going to look into USA yeah. and see if we qualify. But it was this moment of like, you know, color son has no shoes. Yes, yeah. so I had this blind spot that my my grandfather was yeah. the, was the connection there. Yeah. So so it is worth it to go take a look at those things yeah. you know, again for a periodic review and just to get things in order. One of the reasons why we're kind of harping on this right now is because if we were to come to you in November and say go clean up all your financial records for the year, that's a pretty daunting task. That's 11 months of Fresh. stuff to go through. Right now is the time to set that stuff up. All you know, My accordion fo folder is empty right now. It's the start. You know, now is the time to set the system up because it's all clean. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, you know, you can take it another <laughs> step uh, and look again at more systems. So you're, talking, you're looking at your bank. One of the things that so many of our clients are gravitating towards I was just talking with a friend about it this morning, is the idea of having one credit card mm -hmm. for all of your online routine expenses, right? <clears throat> so you might have you might have 10 subscriptions to things. Mm -hmm. uh, you know that you, that's a set amount, but usually we have them in multiple different you know, uh, credit cards or it's coming out of di different yeah. areas. You can have one credit card for all of that yeah. and, it's, and it's just <clears throat> it ro rotates through. Yeah. Or one credit card or debit card for all of your spending groceries dining yeah. out all of that so compartmentalizing your spending there's a go online google using you know 
different systems, uh, and you will. There's plenty of information yeah. out there, but you can tailor for whatever your yeah. whatever your, your your likes are. Yeah, your personality. As Kevin said, now's the time. Go ahead and take ten steps back while you've got the motivation, yeah. and do the work now. This weekend is a is a perfect time. Or, as I realized this morning, nobody's working this week. Most like, places are shut down. We're, yeah, we're crazy, but most we're, places yeah, are well, shut down. Yeah, well, we're here, but I was expecting my email mm -hmm. box to just be, like, yeah. filled with, yeah. with folks. And, and yeah, no, next week it'll be mm -hmm. <laughs> it'll yeah. be like that. So, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I think we have tapped the topic yeah. of the uh, of organizing your money. The 1%? Yeah. Um, How about using a phone app to keep track of your expenses? We have a lot of clients that do that. Uh, and, again, a lot of them are using uh, systems like You Need a Budget or Mint. And if that works for you, that is absolutely great. Um, do I have any really... I really don't have anything negative to say about that. I know some people that use that. Again, our, our, some of our clients use that, and it works real well. The nice thing about it is that wherever you are, you can do an immediate check yeah. to see where I'm standing on something and to make sure that I have, you know, am I over budget in this category? How can I go about doing that? So, yeah, uh, a lot of people do that, and it works really well for them. Yeah, it's, <clears throat> that's, again, you just got to figure out what's going to work for you. Um, do you have a stream video schedule planned out? Uh, the only thing that we do have is that we broadcast every Thursday. I'm sorry, excuse me, every Tuesday. Thursday, pick Thursday, a day. Today's Thursday. <laughs> Screw the, the, the holiday screwed me up. Every Thursday at, at 3, 3 o'clock Pacific time. Pacific time. Yeah. yeah, so we will be on again next uh, next Thursday. At, at yep. And our topics are always related to money. Yeah. Um, li it's all about lifestyle. It's all about how you're basically looking at personal finance from a lifestyle perspective. And we try to get very tactical about yep. stuff, like just like we did in today's topic. And we usually, uh, if you miss a session, we usually try and get the videos up. Oh, to be honest, by the following Monday, we try and do it sooner than that, but by the following Monday, they'll... Yeah, yeah. by the following Monday, there's one video up, and yeah. then it, we, we basically fill that other video in, you know, as we go, because uh, in full disclosure, and um, this is something that we didn't necessarily touch on at the beginning <coughs> of this, um, we are cash flow planning experts, and we get hired by financial advisors to work one-on-one -on -one with clients, consumers, or, or folks, you know, anybody can hire us to work with them to create a spending plan, budget if you want to call it that. Um, but we also do a lot of speaking and a lot of travel around that. And yeah. um, very often, unfortunately, those speaking events are on Thursdays, and so it kind of screws up our, our schedule here. Yeah. But if you want to check out the YouTube videos that we already have, you can go to YouTube. Type in the Savvy Life, but also type in my last name, because for I still have no idea how this happens. My Our, our YouTube um, channel has been up for five, six years, but there's another Savvy Life that is like a 14-year-old girl not money related, in fact, kind of the opposite of what we talk about. She's so, got a lot of followers. She's doing great. Yeah, no, yeah, she's yeah, doing but, fantastic. But, yeah. yeah, you're not going to you're not going to yeah, find so it's, so it's it's yeah. it's uh, the savvy life, and then uh, Tosetti is my last name. T O S E T T I. Yep. Also, please visit our website, thesavvylife.com. You'll see uh, every week we post new articles in the article sections, yep. and uh, you'll see how we work with advisors and uh, consumers, and you see a lot of a lot of good information there for us. You can follow us on most of the social media. Channels, uh, savvylife.com. Yes. So, uh, Kiddo was just asking what the yeah. what the tagline was. Yeah. yeah. The savvylife. .com. The savvylife.com. Uh, and the other thing that I was going to mention real quick is if there is a specific topic you want us to cover, we would love to hear it. So we base a lot of this stuff on timing of what time right now, of course. Yep. You know, if people are thinking about specifically saving more money, sometimes we'll uh, create a topic around just a very common theme we're seeing with clients at that particular time. So just let us know what you want to hear. And kiddos, uh, for the YouTube, it's the Savvy Life, and then type in Melissa's last name. That's Tosetti, T-O-S-E-T-T-I. Okay. All right. All right. And with that, hey, you guys, thanks so much for Thank joining us. Thank you for joining us. Really appreciate it. Yeah, and Happy New Year. Well, good. I'm glad that you enjoyed it. Uh, go check out our other the, the other videos on the site as well, and hopefully we'll uh, talk to you next week. All right. Happy New Year. Thank you. Thank you.